What is up, everyone? Welcome to Mansonelli's Math Lab. This is going to be, hopefully, the new format. Um, I hate just talking about what I'm going to do. I would like to actually do what I want to do, which is make videos in Excel showing really what the work is as an actuary and to start off and to just familiarize myself with the software that I'm going to be using. Um, I'm going to just start by talking about my exam history. I have so many ideas about what to do with this channel. Um, I want to be a lot better regarding my attention to the comments, to the recommendations, um, to the perspectives offered by the viewers of the channel. I do appreciate um, everyone watching and providing feedback. So just a quick video. Um, I'm going to see how things play out. I'm not exactly sure how I need, again, I need to become familiar with with how to use the software for the video recording, screen recording, um, et cetera, et cetera. So just bear with me. Journey to ACAS almost. What does the almost mean? So um, follow me on, on LinkedIn, by the way. A lot of you guys find me on there. Um, that's my name. And uh, so what is the almost the almost part pertaining to? And I bring up LinkedIn because I, I posted about it on there. I don't post anything on social media really at all, but <clears throat> felt like doing it. I'm really excited because I just passed the last CAS exam required actuarial exam to become an associate of the Casualty Actuarial Society. So um, what was my journey like? I've been wanting to make a video about this for so long. You know, a lot of times I'm like, what do people care? You know, sometimes I'm just like, why make a video? Because who cares? <laughs> oh boy. All right. How did my journey begin? Well, go back to one of my previous videos. I talked about this before, but basically I'm a career changer. I was a math teacher for a long time not that long, like three years, taught college math. Um, and then I was like, I don't know if I'm into this for how much work it is and the kind of compensation you're receiving and the kind of mental stimulation, um, et cetera, et cetera. The work actually did get quite uninteresting, teaching people even calculus after a while. So I found all these videos on actuarial science and I was like, wow, this is awesome. You can apply all the theoretical nonsense I learned in math to something somewhat tangible. So um, back in January 2017, I took my first exam. I took exam P. What did I get? I think everyone knows this. That's seen the channel. I got a nine. Man, the good old days that was, you know, because you didn't, I wasn't working at the time. I was living with my now wife's parents and um, had all kinds of time to study. It's a lot harder when you start working. So first attempt was way overpaired. I mean, I made a video about it. It's one of my most watched videos. I got a nine, stupendous. FM, still wasn't working. I actually did get uh, an internship at that time uh, with Liberty Mutual. After I passed um, exam P on FM, I got an eight. I think I took it in April or so of 2017. Then I started um, my internship and I got hired full time right after. I took a break, a quick break from exams. They wanted you to learn the work a little more before you dive into studying and working. So it took me a while before I took my first attempt for MFE. Back then it was MFE, now it's IFM. And then it's going to be nothing, right? It's actually CAS is turning it into, CAS is turning this into uh, OC3. So Excel doesn't like I'm doing that. You got to put a little tick mark there. 
a little single quote for Excel to allow you to do that. If I didn't have that there, right, they're going to be like, what are you doing? Damn you. No, I don't, I don't accept your correction. So, all right, so again, just bear with me. I'm just learning about how I want to approach these videos. Hopefully, I'll be doing a lot of editing, so all this nonsense isn't in here. But essentially, CAS is moving this to online course three. They're getting rid of it completely. The SOA is doing something else with it, too. Actually, you can watch, uh, I think, Etched Actuarial um, has a video on this. I'm sure you guys have seen her videos. Um, so this is going away. Anyways, I finally took it in, uh, I can't even remember, like maybe, you can find an actuarial lookup, but if you're really curious, but something like 20, what was it, 2018, March, I think, and I got a 7. You seeing a pattern here? Are you seeing a pattern? Maybe we'll graph these after. Uh, in fact, you can just go like this. Let's just, uh, let's insert a chart. What kind of chart? I don't know. This kind of chart. Hmm. Maybe we should do a trend analysis on this. Um, <laughs> oh, brother. All right. So um, let's. My, now that I'm doing this, let's just select some data. So horizontal. I got my 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 vertical axis. I got the values. Let's call this what? Let's call it the score. Because that's what it is. And then let's call the horizontal the exams. So there we go. A quick little chart. No big deal. Um, where was I? And I can even throw on uh, the data labels, maybe. Why not? If I can find them. Why aren't they on here? Here we go. Uh, let's do above. So now, yeah, like I was saying, maybe there's a trend here. So I got a 9. I got an 8. I got a 7. What happened on MAS1? MAS1. I failed the first time. I've been I've been trying to man, I've been wanting to make so many videos and I just haven't. You know how hard it is to be working full time, have a life, make videos, you know, go to the gym, take care of yourself. It's tough. Uh, so this is my first attempt. So my first attempt, I got a five. I've been wanting to make a video about this one specifically. This one pissed me off so much. It was a multiple choice test before it was in the computer. I, uh, you set the bubble it in on a Scantron and you could, you get the test in person, you'd, the CAS, you'd go to wherever the exam was administered, you would get a written copy of the exam. So you have the exam, just like you would in college. Then you have a, a like a Scantron bubble in, right? So you get to keep the exam. You write, do all your work on there. Cause they don't collect the work. It's just to care about the answer. It's either right or it's wrong. If it's wrong, you lose a quarter point. If it's right, you get two points. I bubbled in one of the answers wrong. I had it. The answer was right on the sheet I took home with me, the actual exam. I bubbled it in wrong. That was the difference between me passing and failing. I emailed the CAS and said, please check. There's no way this is right. Cause I knew I did it right. I remember the question. I knew how to do it. I got it wrong. Cause I bubbled it in wrong. That was the difference because you could check your score. You could figure out your score and how close you were. I got a five because of that. What did I get the next time? The next time I almost failed too. I was super pissed. I got a six. Check out that trend. Check out that trend line. So I failed the first time. In the interest of our chart, let's just put the six back in here. But <clears throat> I got a six. Man. So first time was a fail. First time was a five exam five I took that next because I was so pissed at MAS I was so so frustrated with MAS exams I took five next so I'm on, I'm on the CAS track obviously the casualty actuarial society as opposed to the society of actuaries I took exam five what did I get better put that in red again I got a three. Oh boy wrecked Maybe we'll just keep this in here like this for a second just destroyed Completely just, if I was trending this, I mean, this massively negative, right? <clears throat> so I got a three, second time I took it. So I was, first of all, I was so devastated by this. I was in a deep depression for like, probably like six months. I was so pissed at myself. I like was so unhappy and just depressed. I mean, 
my now wife was not super thrilled on uh, my attitude. Just feel like an idiot. It's so depressing to fail one of these things. It's much more depressing to fail than than the excitement you get from passing, unfortunately. So I got a three, I got wrecked, and then I got a six. So this one from a five to a six. MAS one five to six, and uh, exam five went three to six. So it's just leveled out here. MAS two, first attempt, passed. Got a seven. Whew. Am I bouncing back? Exam six. This was the craziest one. People take this, like, for years on end. I thought I was going to be taking it at least a couple times. I passed the first time with a six. Couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. Wow. I'm just messing with stuff now. A lot of times I like to make these just different. I don't know, I like it black. They come in gray, sort of. I don't know why they do that. This is Excel's default. But anyways, there it is. These are the seven exams required, actual exams required for the associate designation, the associate of the Casualty Actuarial Society. Took me about four years. We had we missed an exam because of uh, because of COVID. One was canceled, canceled, right? And I think it took me around four years. I don't know the exact time frame, but around there, um, I failed an exam twice. I retook MAS one. I retook exam five, and I passed five of them on the first try. Which like, oh, these things are so freaking hard. The pass rate on the exam six was 35% out of a bunch of smart people. And I mean, I'm not even saying I'm, I'm not saying I'm super smart. I just, I just work hard. That's all it is. I work hard. I have some knowledge that I've accumulated over the years. Now, let me get back to the point. Why is this almost? This is almost because I have to do some annoying little things. What kind of little things do I need? Other things I need, I need OC2, online course two, and I need... Um, and I need the course on professionalism. I need two of these little things to get those done to actually be uh, a CAS actuary, a designated actuary. Now you might be asking, am I going to go all the way? Am I going to be a fellow? I'm going to attempt to be a fellow. I hope I can do it. I mean, I think I can. Otherwise, I wouldn't try, but that's the situation. This is what I'm going to be doing. By the way, I am taking a break. Uh, in a year, I'm going to take exam eight, but right now, I'm taking a year off. I don't know why I need to write that. I don't need to write that, but I wrote it anyway. There it is. I'm taking a year off. I'm going to try to get back in the YouTube thing. I'm going to give myself a break from studying because it's just insane. It's just draining. It takes a lot of time, as you probably know. Um, so this is going to be it for the first one, I guess. Um, what's the content going to be? Well, I guess I'll just leave it here because I don't want to get too uh, off into the weeds. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for joining me. And uh, best of luck in uh, your studies or whatever it is you decide to do.